everyone, I hope that you are really taking in a lot of the things that I'm delivering. Last week was very powerful, very powerful week, very powerful week, very strong week. Um, yesterday, all the implantations had two of my sons here releasing powerful impartations on here. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. So so let, let all the wisdom receive it and operate in it. And this is going to be very powerful. I'm just going to be on here uh, giving you the word of the Lord in a very powerful way. And uh, you, you know how I do. I'm going to take you into the depth of the scripture for about 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. We're going to go into the depth of the scripture. I'm going to talk about something real mighty on here. Real mighty. Say, Father, I receive your manifest presence in my life. Say, Father, I receive your manifest presence. Your manifest presence. Your manifest presence. I receive your manifest presence. Just, just tell the Lord that. Just tell the Lord that. I receive your manifest presence. I receive your manifest presence. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Say, Lord, I take all of you. I leave all of me and I give you all of me right now. Say, Father, I receive the manifestation of your presence. I receive the manifestation of your presence. Come on, saints. Those of you all on here, just pray in the spirit for a couple, couple seconds. I'm already loaded. I'm doing this for you. yourself of everything that's not supposed to be detox yourself just for a couple seconds just pray in the spirit
chapter 2 verse 1 therefore therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard lest at any time we should let them slip let's go to verse 2 for if the word spoken by angels was steadfast and every transgression and disobedience received a just Recompense of reward. Verse three, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. God also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders, with diversity of miracles and the gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. Now, saints, I want you to see this here. I'm not really focusing on all, all the other stuff about the signs and the miracles, all that there. I want you to zoom in on how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation. You know, the word of the Lord came to me. The father said this to me. Tell you, stop putting your life in my hands than taking it out. Stop taking back what you give to me. You give me your focus, you take back your focus. Say, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm oversee over my focus now. I take it back. I, I use it for what I want. You give God your time, you take back the time, you give it back to the devil. You give God your body, you take back your body, you give it back to the devil. You give God your mouth, you take back your mouth, you give it back to the devil. You give God your attentiveness, your, your, your learning. You take back what you learn, you give your learning abilities back to the devil. The Lord says, stop taking what you give me and, and taking it back from me. Keep it. See, surrender is the ability to keep or, or surrender is the ability to let what you gave to God stay. If you take a note, write that down. Wow. If you think about it like that, it'll solve a lot of issues. Surrender is the ability to let what you, what you give to God stay. That means that you don't go and pick it up again. Um, the Lord said there's a lot of repossessed souls. Because you gave me the soul, but then you came back to repossess it from me. As if I didn't buy it from you already. As, I, as if I didn't make payments. So saints, understand the Lord's prayer. That's why King Jesus said, forgive us of our trespasses. When you trespass, that means that you go on a ground that you don't have authority to go on. You do something you don't have authority to do. So imagine a lot of times. You forget that you've been bought with the price. And so you take your mind and you choose to worry. Or you take your emotions and you choose to be depressed. Or you take your body and you choose to be rebellious. Or you take your atmosphere and you choose to be distracted. And that's a trespass. Because you're bought. 
Saints, do you know people, they'll call the police if you step on their grounds and they say, you don't have a permit, you don't have a right to be on here. You step on our grounds, you take this vehicle, you don't have a right, I done made payments on this vehicle. Imagine how King Jesus made the payments for your mind, will, emotions, body, all of you. So when you operate solo, when you take back yourself from him, you're trespassing against him. Now, saints, the Lord's Prayer got many dimensions to it. And I can, I can teach three hours on the trespassing against the Lord because that's not always you taking back what you gave to God. But it's also a mentality. Your mind is not supposed to go certain places. Your words are not supposed to go certain places. You trespass against God when you connect with people that you're not supposed to connect with. You go to locations you're not supposed to go. If you end up studying at a park and God wants you to be inside of your bathroom, you're trespassing against God. So trespass is just illegal activity. But I'm giving you a reference to this scripture in a way that you can understand it for the rest of your life. That you've been bought with a price. So when you take back yourself from the Holy Spirit, you're trespassing against the Holy Spirit. You're sinning against the Holy Ghost. You're sinning against him because he already bought you. How many of you all will go buy a $50,000 car right now? And somebody comes inside of your parking lot, takes your car, drives off with it and said, I'm going to enjoy it for a couple minutes. I'll give it back to you tomorrow. What would be your what would be your reaction? Some of y'all, you're not all that saved, baby. You're not all that saved. You on Taekwondo. You 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 on choke, you on choke slam, you on bus fingers, you on bus toes, you on break knee cops, you on fight from the back, you wanna bite, you wanna bite and fight. You want to do all type of stuff there. You want to bring him here, then bring him there. You want to ask for tip after you beat him up in the lip. You want to do all that. You you want to bring him into embarrassment. You want to take him down. You want you want to take him all over, take a picture, send it all over Facebook, send it all over Messenger. Now, Imagine your reaction if you buy something and then what you buy gets stolen from you and another owner, another master is using what you paid for. Saints, imagine uh, King Jesus' frame of thought. When he looks down from heaven and sees what he paid for and the devil can use your mind to think worry, to think fear, to think anxiety. He can use your emotions to think discouragement, offense, uh, depression, oppression, all those things. He can use your body for sickness, diseases pains or, or, or just uh, being wayward. Imagine how King Jesus feels after he done paid a great price. Saints, what, what? Hebrews chapter two, verse three said, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? It said, how shall we escape? That mean that God actually got a leash on everybody that if you don't recognize that there's a leash on you you gonna recognize it one day when you outside of your body it says how shall we escape you, do you know the word escape I want you to think about it escape means to be able to slip out from danger. Escape means to be able to, to, to elude, to, to uh, become free from a punishment.
So it says, how shall we escape? There's no door out of this. There's no prayer out of this. There's no lifestyle. There's no God out of this. How now, now watch this here. Now this Hebrews chapter two, verse two, it says, for if the word spoken by angels was steadfast. See, remembering the gospels, it wasn't the word spoken by angels no more. Remember the word came to Mary. It came to um, Elizabeth. It came to Zacharias. Rather. And, and we see all those things happening. But when King Jesus came on the scene, that was the finish line for the angels to give word, except when he was uh, crucified, he died, and the angels gave word to Mary Magdalene and them, and Mary, and, 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 and so, so on and so forth. <clears throat> so, excuse me. Sometimes you can have it too cold, blessed be God. When you have it too cold, you start feeling all, oh, you know what I'm saying? You feel, you feel me. You feel me. Sometimes you can have it too cold. You, you're not going to grab me. You're not going to grab me. Hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me for one second, baby. Hold on. Let me check. One. Let me check my palm pile. I got to see if it's. I got to see what's going on over here. All right. Just excuse me. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. You can wait. You can wait, baby. You about to go to sleep. You got to wait just for a minute, though. You got to you gotta wait on the Lord. The Lord is... The Lord got two more stuff that he got to say to you. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. I'm going to fix it now. I don't need you. I don't need no... I don't need no recompense. I don't need no recompense. I don't need no back mouth. You got to stop being fresh. Stop being fresh. Hold on now. We about to do it here. All right, there it is. Whoop, there it is, there it is. All right, there it is. All right, I'm just throwing it around in a circle to finish it off. All right, thank you. Just got to throw it around in a circle about two more times. All right, there we is. All right, excuse me. Now, Hebrews chapter 2 is talking about the word spoken by angels was steadfast. And every transgression and disobedience received a just reward. That means that when angels spoke, God judged man based upon the angels. Now watch this here. So King Jesus in the Gospels is no longer the angel speaking. Now it's him speaking. The son of God, which is God in the flesh. God just wrapped himself in a man body and said, this is my son. I put myself here in this natural world. And I'm going to call this body my son. But it's really God. So it's saying that if the words of angels and angels are lower than the son of God. Angels are lower than a prophet of God. Angels are lower than a man of God. If the word spoken by angels Cause the wrath of God to hit. It's telling you, how, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation, this salvation that's being preached to us by our man of God? How shall we escape? Because if God could send judgment to a lesser through a lesser position, an angel is of lesser position. If he could send wrath, and he can destroy and he can kill. Saints, remember in David's day when he misnumbered the army and the angel went throughout and started killing everybody? Remember that? It was the angel of the Lord. Now, saints, I could talk five hours about the angel of the Lord, but let me say this to you about the angel of the Lord. Jesus had his angel talking to John in Revelation. King Jesus assigned his personal angel, his twin angel, to talk to John most of the book of Revelation. 
That's why even John went down to go worship the angel. And the angel said, no, 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 no. Don't worship me. Saints, because John felt God's presence so strong. He felt the presence of Jesus so strong. And when Jesus was, was, was he used to bow down to Jesus. So when he sees the angel of Jesus, he feels like doing the same thing. The angel said, had to tell him, don't worship me. We worship in God. I'm your brother. Now watch this here. If the angel of the Lord Jesus tells John that he is John's brother, what is John really? Is he just a man? Because if an angel calls you his brother, that means that you are in what? It, it means that you are an angel. That, ah, the angel was telling John according to position. We are brothers. My God, my God. My God, my God, my God. Leso cole viata. Rebesete cure de veso. Ah, leboko ramakata. Ore te coso. The angel was telling John, we, 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 we brethren. Saints, so, so. I, I, I want I, I want to lit you up a little bit. I want to lit you up with the deep stuff. Uh, uh, no wonder the book of Proverbs calls wisdom your sister. <laughs> see, see, because because when you become a supernatural person, you got brothers and sisters in the angelic. And, and, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and that's the reason why you go to another level in your mentality. And, and, and you go to another level in, in your atmosphere, in your company, in your connections, in your association. Because you don't understand that you got angels as your brother. You got angels. Saints, the angel that was beside Jesus when he was preaching was more of his brother than John and Mary coming to inquire of Jesus. They say, your mother outside. He said, who is my mother, my brother? I said, huh? Huh? Because when you in the spirit, the angels is your brother. You never heard that before. I promise you didn't. I, I promise you didn't. I promise you, you didn't. Because this ain't no recycled teaching. Did this fresh off of the dome. Um, how many sisters do you got that you haven't entertained in your angelic family? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> how many brothers that you don't you don't know about yet? I just heard the spirit of the living God say that when you step into true worship, you have a family reunion. My God. Oh, oh my God. Ah! Oh, I, I just heard the spirit of the Lord say that when you step into praising me, when you step into giving me glory and thanks, I link you up with your family in the angelic rank. And all of a sudden, oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All of a sudden, you start doing these works and even greater works. Now, you know why King Jesus was saying that. These works I do, you shall do also, and even greater works. Now, you know why you're going to do the greater works. Because there are greater angels that was reserved to minister for you according to you being an heir of salvation. These angels wasn't moving with Jesus. These angels was reserved for when you receive Jesus. Now they moving with you. Ha! These angels been sent to do greater administrations 
demonstrations, supplies, releases, manifestations, and appearances. Saints, when Mary Magdalene was looking at that angel talking to her, who do you think that angel was? They was the angels of King Jesus. So guess who they really was? They was Mary Magdalene's brothers. <sighs> I gotta go. I gotta go. Hey, 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 I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta go. We said 15 minutes. We said 15 minutes. Listen, listen, listen. We said 15 minutes. Who do you think? She was talking to when they were standing there, when they was at the tomb, when they was giving her. They were her brothers. She was talking to her brothers. Saints, these are the benefits for yielding your life to the Holy Ghost. These are the benefits to yielding your life to the Spirit of the living God. Ah, ah. Oh my God, oh my God, it's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. It's crazy. These are the benefits to yielding to the spirit of the living God. I gotta go. Look at this. Look at this. Watch this. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1. Look what it says. In verse 6. And again. When he bringeth in the first begotten into the world. Which is Jesus. That's what God just showing this process. Like he, he makes this man. This man is his first. His, his, his first. Begotten son. Into the world. The father saith this. Let all the angels of God. Let all the angels of God worship him. Now saints, listen, listen. I'm about to say something that's going to mess you up. It says, let all the angels of God worship Jesus. Okay. The Bible said that you are a joint heir with Christ Jesus. John 1, 12 says to as many as receive me. Uh, 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 uh. It says that uh, he came to his own, his own receive him, not John 1 11, but to as many as receive him, he gave them power to become the sons in John 1 12. If you became a son, and the angels was commanded by the Father to worship Jesus. Saints, I want to say something that you never heard before. When Jesus took that man with the withered hand, there was an angel right there with a body part from the storehouse of heaven. That angel picked the arm on. If you could have looked in the spirit, you would have saw the body part being delivered while he was talking. You don't understand the power that you have when you start decreeing life, speaking life, walking in life, talking life, confessing life, the law of confession, the law of decree, the law of confession, the law of decree. That's why the angels hearken to the voice of his word. David was moving with angels. I said David was moving with angels. That's why David said that angels hearken to the voice of your word, of his word. But you are the voice. You are the one that's voicing it. This word is voice released. Voice manifested. The angels, they worship Jesus as the son. 
Now you have received power to become the sons. So what do you think that angels are waiting to do unto you? But you got to get yourself right with God. You got to repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. They waiting for you. See, this, there's a whole world that you have not explored yet. The resurrection power is for recovery. The ascension power is for discovery. And once you leave the place of recovery and you are made whole, No wonder the Bible said that the angels desire to look into the things that you have received. But how will they begin to look into it? You want to show it to them. See, you probably thought I was off when I said that God gave me the authority to name my angels. See, now I'm, I'm preaching something to you so that you can understand the great authority that has been released to you. Shama. Oleva kapala kate pele dose. Aya dandele bede vekete pola kataya. O jevandele vokopola. Zeleva kapandele bose.